so you think it's teal now? Welcome to the Robin's Nest. <laughs> no adults, yeah, no I rules. Think, Welcome we to the Robin's Nest. We just discovered Emma's pants that she's wearing match the couch perfectly, and we're calling it teal. I think these are forest green, but I think the couch is teal. So they're teal. But they're the same color. Yeah. But guess what? This this there is no forest adults green. Here, so we can do what we want. No, it's that's not. right. No, it's not. Maybe that is, the what Nike is, is uh, forest green on that's sewn there. That's probably forest green. I'll have to look at it in person. Yeah, we'll look at what these colors actually are. Yeah. Okay, let me know. Why are you wearing green, Mom? Do you want to tell Sam the Do you want to tell Sam the big news? I am trying out for the Eagles cheerleading squad, <laughs> and what? I'm all excited about San Diego State University. Here's my little cheer megaphone from my cheerleading days. I'm all ready, and I started practicing today. It did not go well. It did oh, not go well. I'll just put it out. So there. the Eagles are having open call auditions. I saw a big billboard for it, and I was like, "Oh my God, we have to take Mom. She's got this big cheerleading background." And then I saw even better, the auditions are all background. online. You just submit a video. So we're practicing for the video submission. And um, it's, it's not the best dancing I've ever seen. Then we go like this. Step forward two. <laughs> I need a, the carpet's hard to do the turns on. <laughs> I just started. I, I just need Emma's going to give me better one on one instruction and we're doing it on the carpet. I need it on a regular floor so I can make my turns and all my stuff. Well, we get... cheerleading now is not like it was back in your day, mom. No, like, it's just I've dancing. I've seen you. You can only you only have a few moves, but now the days they tumble, they flip, they get not thrown in, in the this air. Audition, Sam. No, not in this audition. They dance. And it's mom's going to dance. Ever. Mom's going to dance to Rock and Robin. Okay. I'm gonna give tweedly You do only do one cheer though. I've only heard you do the same cheer my entire life. Which one? Sam, you know it. Three, two, one. Shake. <laughs> well, shake, shake is a great. Uh -huh. You know it's all right. I said, I said a shake that red. Shake that red. And shake that and shake white. That white. <laughs> yeah, we know it. Yep. Good. <laughs> but is you it can't Eagles audition. quality. I don't know. Sam, I have to do their dance, okay? I have to learn the dance. That's what oh, I'm trying. Oh, their steps? Yes. Oh, yeah. You know? This is very <laughs> prof this is very intense and professional. And I'm doing it, and Emma's helping me. I Good may be luck. up all night practicing. Better set it up for me. Yeah, I walked in, and she was doing the with the instructions. One, two, three. One, two, three. She was hitting all the steps. Now, did they <laughs> used to dance when you were a cheerleader at we, San Diego State? We called those song leaders. Song leaders? Yeah, they would dance and the yell leaders would yell. What but were you? A yell, yell leader, of obviously. Course, obviously. <laughs> Why did I even ask? All she does is yell. But at um, my uh, community college, when I was a cheerleader there, we did the dancing and we did the cheering. We did both. So I've done it. So I can do this. You got Easy. this, Mom. Emma's going to get me em an Eagles cheerleading outfit to wear. And when you do become an Eagles cheerleader, I want field side tickets. Stop it. Can you hook Mom that up? Mom says she doesn't want to wear the uniform, though, because her belly button I'm will not show. Sh I'm not showing my belly button. I guess I could. It's <laughs> as good as anybody else's belly button. Remember a few years ago you were threatening us that you were going to get your belly button pierced? Oh, yeah. Remember <laughs> I was going to do that? Maybe I should do that this year. <laughs> Wait, why was that a threat? I don't remember that. She, I, I don't know. I don't remember why she was. Was Daddy already it. dead? Probably. Oh, this was like recent. No, not yes. that recent. This was like pandemic. No. <laughs> it was recent enough. Not pandemic recent. Really? Yeah, I was going to go down and get my belly button pierced for my birthday. <laughs> could do it this year. Yeah, you could do it this year. Next week. Yeah, I could do it. You should get it for the Eagles audition. We don't you could have a little bright, shiny piece to, you know, wave around and impress them. I'm not going to audition yeah. with my belly button showing. Emma's getting me a nice little cheerleading outfit. I thought you already ordered yourself one. I ordered myself a San Diego State one. So I'm ready for when we <laughs> cheer for them. But you were going to order me a green one. Now, I when can't you were... wear black and red. No, you can't to cheer for the Eagles. Yeah. Now, when you cheered for San Diego State, did you guys ever go to March Madness? We went to the very, 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 very first round in Arizona. It was awful. We lost and came home. 
We had to take a bus. It was awful. You took a bus? That's, they gave that's us still a bus. Cool, they though. put us on a bus. Yeah, it was very cool. Barb and I will remember it our whole lives. Who'd you play and against? Do you even this. remember? What? Do you remember who you Arizona. played against or anything? We played Arizona at Arizona. I think it was University of Arizona. My favorite Allegedly. thing about mom being a cheerleader is that Damn. was the head Here's cheerleader the and then she got demoted. <laughs> well, yeah. So I was head cheerleader my junior year, my senior year. They said no. they voted for someone else. I was a little too bossy. But I took it. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I'm shocked. I'm shocked too, but I took it. You know, I was fine with it that I didn't have to do all the work. Can you believe it? They thought I was bossy. <laughs> no. My mom so what bossy? After, after they told you you were bossy, did you say, well, then fine. I'll never cheer. You can, You guys can just do whatever you want. And I'll just, <laughs> you know, that's what you do. It's not what I did. I was the cheerleader. Barb and I, we let this guy be the head cheerleader. She always the guys. Oh. You know, so that was the problem. It was those a man, you know, pushing me out. Mm. Not as traumatic as your high school cheerleading days. No. Well, that's another story we'll talk about another time. No, tell I'm it surprised now. You had we want to know. Cheerleaders. We did. Both my years at San Diego State, we had men. That's very progressive, Mom. My goal in life when I was young was to be a cheerleader, which was a st- Stupid and now goal. you can make it come true. No, that's not a stupid goal. I think it was. We're a still working goal. towards it. We're still Full circle. God, no, no. <laughs> I want to be something else besides a cheerleader. Even though I'm still you wearing weren't. my necklace. Me, I'm a boss. <laughs> yeah, Emma's just a plain old boss. She doesn't want to be any cheerleader. True. She's a goalie. Thank you. Thank you. The exact so opposite. Let- Let's get, yeah, I know, right? She didn't get that from me. What is that supposed to be? I would want to be the cheerleader. You well, are. I know. You'd want to be the goalie. I was. Okay, so we're good. Dreams come true every day. They come true every day. Now, Mom, today. Yes, today. Today we're talking about being in the friend zone. Okay, explain about... what that means. Explain yeah, what that means. You, you friend that zone means, yeah. so many you... people, Mom. All you do is friend zone. On purpose? Yes. Uh, I think so. You flirt with every single person you meet and then go, oh, I don't like him. I don't like him. Mom I used was to not flirt. flirting, Emma. No. We were, I know. we were just talking playfully. We were just talking. She calls every uh, maintenance guy that would come over, my guy. You're my guy. Oh, you're my That's best guy. You're my guy. That's the move. <laughs> My guy. I don't know what Emma is talking about. Did you get discounts? (laughs) I always get a discount. (laughs) (laughs) Always get a discount, never get a ticket. You're my guy. You're my guy. Remember, we did get a ticket in Virginia. I couldn't talk my way out of that one. You tried. I tried. I tried with everything I had. What happened? I couldn't get him. We were just speeding regularly. We, we, I Emma and I, participating. we were going to field hockey in Virginia Beach, and I didn't know I was going fast, and they were just pulling over all the out-of-state license plates. I didn't know that either. I didn't realize what was Discrimination. happening. It's awful. It was. It was awful, and I tried everything. I even cried. It didn't work. She even I, cried. That's the first thing she did. <laughs> My husband just dropped dead. <laughs> And he was like, okay. so what? <laughs> you think the flirting didn't work? What, was it a gay cop? I He's don't like... remember what he looked like. I hate him. Do you remember what he looked like? I don't know. Not at all. I don't think it was much flirting. I think it was more wailing. Yeah, I cried. I went right for the tears, but it didn't work. It was like, watch this, Emma. Because <laughs> <laughs> she can cry on demand and she proves it. <laughs> Not right now, I can't because of my eyelashes. So no one asked me to cry because I have to keep my eyelashes nice and I'm not going to cry. Not going to cry, but you could. I could. If she wanted to. If I wanted to, but I don't, so I'm not. So there. So anyway, I'm going to go back to what the friend zone is. The friend zone is the zone that you put people that you don't want to date in. They're your friend and they're not going to ever get out of that. Yeah. There are some of those. We all have them. Like the attraction's not there or the ick is there. You've known them for too long. They're your cousin. Something 
makes you They're not want to date him. You put him in the friend zone. <laughs> I want to play, make it clear. I never dated a cousin. <laughs> no, you put him in the friend zone. Yeah, I mean, you know, my cousins are just my friends. Exactly. I did have one of my cousins flirt big time with me, though. What? I'm, I'm not going to say which one. I'm not going to say which one. I'm not. Well, maybe there were two of them. What? I, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. Okay. Tell us what happened. Uh, no, nothing yeah. happened. I'm not going to say. You, Nothing happened because well, they were in the friend zone, right? Yeah, because yeah, right. they're cousins. All right, so cousin one, what? Put the moves on you? Kind of, yeah. I really want to know what cousin. I'm not going to tell you. Tell At you. a bar or something? <laughs> no, no, I don't go to bars what? with what? my cousin. At the family reunions, you got to watch out at those family reunions. <laughs> if you haven't reunioned with them in a while, they might want something else. you got to be careful. Be careful <laughs> at the family reunions. That's all I can say. Unless you want to go for it. Then you can really meet somebody nice at those family reunions. Someone you have a lot in common with. DNA. <laughs> and the same grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Story definitely put your cousins. Or don't go to your family <laughs> reunion. Just don't skip it. Where was this family reunion? I'm not saying. Stop. Was it the one oh, in come Colorado on. that we were at? I'm not saying. It, it was. Had... It was. It we was. We were there. There were a it couple was. family reunions you were not at. That's why I'm asking. Well, I'm not saying. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to tell me on camera. And then you can tell me. So yeah, they're I, I all texting. You guys tell each other way too much. Aren't you glad? I don't know, because you talk about me, so I don't know how glad I am. You love that we talk about you. Not really. That's like your favorite thing. Not necessarily. Stop talking about me, you Stop guys. Stop talking about me. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. Sam and I will be talking about something so unrelated, and we'll laugh, and you'll go, Stop laughing about me. <laughs> it's not well, always about you. But it usually is. No. Okay, good. I'm glad it's not. But you guys don't seem to be able to keep any secrets, so, you know. Neither know. do you. Oh, oh I keep not all Not that you know of. Yeah, come on. Yeah, not that you know of. Well, Mom, we've got a question from one of our listeners about being in the friend zone or maybe keeping a friend in, a, in the friend zone. She says, I think I'm in love with my best friend, but don't want to ruin things with her. So I've been subtly flirting, and I don't know if she likes it. But we kissed once, and now her mom hates me, Whoa. and I don't know what to do. I don't think she's interested in girls, so I'm sort of stuck. What do you think, Mom? I think she should keep her in the friend zone. Friend zone, or do we... I was going to say friend zone or end zone, but what does end zone mean in this situation? End the friendship? Or, yeah, and she, or doesn't score. Wanna, she doesn't want to end score. the friendship. It means score. Okay, so end zone means score. Okay, so well, friend remember zone or... So friend zone or end zone, that's perfect. I stay, say stay in the friend zone. You've already made your feelings known if you've kissed. Mm -hmm. And if she's interested, she's going to come to you. But I wouldn't want to lose a really good friend. So stay in the friend zone. That's what I do. Well, you won't remember, Mom. But remember, Emma, there was that show on MTV called Friend Zone? Yes. Where it was the same situation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the friend helps them get ready for the date. And then... Eventually and then they, they say, reveal Surprise. You're my this date. date is for you. And I, I really like that. you and I have feelings for you. And it either goes somewhere or usually they never speak again. See, and that's the risk you take it's of never risk. speaking again. And I'm advising this young lady to not take that risk because she's already kissed with her and she doesn't think she's into girls. So I would I would just be friends. If the feelers are already out there, you don't need to do anything more. Right. Right? Like, what else yeah. is there to do? Press somebody who doesn't really want to be pressed? Because then they'll, they'll write you out of their lives and you won't be friends at all. That's the risk you take. But if you think it's too difficult to be friends with the feelings that you have, then go for it. Right? Then it, be it's honest. A, it's they, an all or nothing. Yeah. If, if that's where you are, be honest. Say, you know, I'd really like to be in a relationship with you other than a friendship. What do you think? And, but be ready for them to say, not really, then it's over then it's really hard to move back into the friend zone. Don't you think, Emma? What I would do is I would keep my options open. I would not tell the friend I have feelings. I would talk to other people. The friend knows. And if you see the she friend starting to get her. jealous, if you see the friend starting to get jealous, though, oh. then, you know, you got something. Because you want what you can't have, you know? We know. Oh, we know. We absolutely know. Now, Mom, does the friend zone exist in all stages of life? Or is it kind of just a... 
you know, all young. stages of life that I've been in. I don't know about the future. We don't know what the future holds for the friend zone. But if you had somebody in the friend zone. I do have people in the friend currently zone. Currently people? Yes. Plural? Well, we know of one I for sure. I can think of one. Yeah. I can think of one. Yeah. Well, I have others. Lots in the friend zone. Now, I've got a question for you. And if, yes. you, if you don't feel comfortable with this scenario, we don't have to air it. Okay. Um, you have a very old friend, John. Oh. That you were best friends from kindergarten, right? Very good friends from kindergarten, all the way through high school. And then I found out recently that you guys dated. Who told you? You. Oh, <laughs> guess it's Did true. Did I know that? I don't know. And now are still really good friends. We went back to the friend zone. So how does that transition work? Because now this Had is somebody that- Had you gone to that... the high school reunion, mom? Uh, you know, who knows? We went to the reunion. <laughs> That's the problem with those reunions. John got good looking. Oh, really? That's what happened? Was a reunion? Yes. Yes. So you were childhood friends. He got good looking. You got together at the reunion. Yeah, we danced every dance at the sixth grade dance together. <laughs> so things were pretty hot and heavy. Oh, very. <laughs> but John was a skinny little guy. But now, but then, at our 10-year reunion, he was tall, handsome, and he always dressed really well because his mother had, ex you know, exquisite taste. But then we went back into the friend zone. So you broke up and you were able to say, some, a lot of people break up and they say, let's be friends. And then they, they don't, they can't. Or their other new, new girlfriend or boyfriend or spouse doesn't allow it. That's what happened with Carrie King and I. Oh. Because he promised me we're going to be friends forever. Well, he emailed me, don't tell anyone. <laughs> and don't tell anyone. He told me, well, he's dead, so it doesn't matter now. He told me, when he, he'd send me these emails, he'd say, now delete it. Did dad know? Get rid of the evidence. Dad didn't know? I don't think so. I don't think I deleted it. Maybe we could find it. Because, you know, I don't always do what I'm told. <laughs> I would love to find that. That well, would be amazing. Oh, my God. So anyway, I do have a really good dating tip. Oh, do you? I do. And this can go for everybody. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. So this is learned from experience. Mm -hmm. So back when I was young, out of college, my uncle was a big time criminal attorney. And I think he may have been a judge at this point. And he said, Robin, he called me. I have a really nice fellow I want to set you up with. And his name happens to be Jeff Robinson. A cousin. <laughs> a cousin. But I had gone to elementary school with a Jeff Robinson. So I know two Jeff Robinsons. I've kind of had a crush on the first one from elementary school. Hi, Jeff Robinson, if you're around. He's blonde and good looking. Probably not anymore. So anyway, <laughs> I go to dinner with this Jeff Robinson that my uncle Bobby set me up with. And I thought we had a great time. He was really good looking. He was handsome, smart, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I didn't hear from him again. So my uncle called me, said, Robin. I said, what? He said, Jeff really liked you. He thought you were really attractive and funny and smart. He said, but all you did was talk about your old boyfriend. <gasps> So that's my dating tip. Oh, I, I learned that. King? No, no, no. This is before Carrie. Um, I don't know what year this was. Maybe I was talking about Carrie. I don't know. But um, I don't remember. All I do remember is that that's a no-no, people. When you go out with someone, don't talk about your exes. Just don't. Just suck it in. No, if you need like... to talk about your exes, go get the person who's in the friend zone. Yeah, that's like you were a gonna big say, red Sam, flag. You're going to say it's a big red flag, you know, like, yeah. you just don't talk you, about it. You had the if, red flag waving over you. What is it a red if flag about, Sam? What do you mean it's a red flag? If they're talking about their exes, that means they're not ready for something new. They're clearly hung up on something. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about your ex on a first date, like, what are you doing? I know. What was I doing? Well, even you beyond were... the first date, even like, do you tell Jordan about your exes now? Are you talking about your exes? Uh, here and there, you know, sometimes. I mean, I think it's important to know. Yeah, but it shouldn't be like a, you know. Anyway, it's a dating tip. Don't talk about your exes. I think it's a good tip, Sam. I think it's a great it's tip. Like, and yeah. The, the thing that I think is the best from that story is that you heard that, that you were like that on the first date and you didn't say, no, I'm not. No, I learned from it. Because a lot of people would say, no, I didn't. I did not or, say that. Crazy. I'm admitting it. So that's like the best thing that you can do is take that advice and actually apply it there was one girl that i dated 
that talked about her exes on like I think one of the first dates, if not the first date, and I ended up dating her anyway. And that was a red flag, and I should have paid attention. I thought, I thought, eh, whatever, I'll just keep dating her anyway. But is it someone that was a red flag? Of course. Oh, it was a. Okay. I'm not gonna say who. No, don't say who. But like, what did she talk about? How she liked him or didn't like him, or that they were awful. It was years ago, but I remember. It was like, why are you talking about this on a first date? And it was just like a red flag that I should have paid attention to. Now, what about talking about like when was your last relationship or how did your last relationship end? Because it's still a little if heavy some, for a if first somebody date. like yeah, but if somebody like just got out of a relationship and you really want to suss them out, you don't want to be the rebound right date uh, person right, exactly. And know. how do you find out if you don't ask? Yeah, but a first date's just supposed to be, like, light and stuff. Like, Okay, well, so uh, I blew it on that first date, okay? But what about the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, you know, when you get further in? Does it matter anymore? I still think that – I still think people shouldn't talk about their exes. I think it makes really. the other person feel uncomfortable. That's what I think. That's what I've learned from my past. Yeah, I would say so. So that's my big tip, everyone. Leave it on the plate, put it out with the trash, and move on. And talk about here, now, and what makes your life exciting. Ooh. Ooh. That was a huge tip, Mom. And if you're a woman talking to a guy, talk about sports. Read the sports section of your the paper. Your guy doesn't like sports. Well, my guy doesn't, but I'm saying in general, most do. Yeah. And ask lots of questions. Yeah. Like, what's your favorite color? What are your hopes and dreams? Oh, what are your hopes and dreams? That's a great you know question. What I like I like asking, um, what did you want to be when you when you grew up? You mean when you were a kid? When you were a kid. Oh, I love That's a good that. One. Like when you were a kid, what did you want to be? A cheerleader. <laughs> I wanted to be president. Yeah, you did it. A lawyer. Oh. What happened? Yeah, how'd that turn died. out? Her dad died and everything went in And the I trash. said, Oh, life isn't this serious. Yeah, oh, life isn't this serious. I won't try to save the world. Exactly. Gotta have fun. I'll go into comedy. Save the world through laughter. Save, help individuals instead of the whole world. Yeah, a world's a lot. That's a lot going on Yeah, well, there. Sam wanted to be a professional basketball player in the Olympics. Like, and I thought Swimmer, he everybody Emma. else. Yep, Swimmer. I was right there. I was oh, right there right. with him. Oh, he was going to be Michael okay, Phelps. Okay, let's, should we move on? What else do we have on the agenda tonight? This is Trixie. Oh, Trixie. What Meet a great Trixie. Trixie comes to us from uh, Senior Dog Haven oh, that's in perfect. Wilmington, Delaware. Oh, perfect for us. A she is dog. a 13-year-old Bijan Frise whose owner surrendered her, surrendered her to a local veterinarian. The staff describes her as friendly, loving, and very gentle. She does have Lyme disease and many tumors. Oh, my God. I can't believe And a probable eye issue that will need to be addressed in the show, future. Show her picture, Emma. She's very cute. Here is Trixie. <laughs> I love her. She looks perfect for us. She looks like Max. Perfect for us. I can't do it. Yeah, we, I go for it. the get... most dilapidated dogs. I'm taking care we, of a rescue cat now. We could get a good five years out of her, I think. I think so too. Yeah, I'd have to give her attention more no, than you do. No, no, no. She's young. What? How old did I say she is? Eighteen. Only thirteen. <laughs> oh, she's thirteen. Yeah, five she's years. Young. <laughs> she's ready for her bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! If we don't adopt her, who's gonna throw her the best bar mitzvah in town? Bark mitzvah. I like it. A bark mitzvah. That's cute. Better than my bark mitzvah. Yeah, much better. Well, that's all I have for tonight. Sam, Robin, Robin's about to kick me out for the weekend. Her boyfriend's arriving, and I have to pack my bags and leave the house. Get that's out of there. Another tip. I'm, like, ready to run. That's another tip. The other tip, move Just out. Get the kids out so you can have your own boyfriend. So yeah. You don't have to share. Yeah. I'm not trying to share. I'm not sharing. I'm not sharing. You can't have What does that mean? I get your own it. boyfriend. Get your own boyfriend. <laughs> I have my own boyfriend. All right, you crazy kids. I'll see you next time. We'll see you tomorrow at coffee. Oh, boy. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye.